M0FXB, just a quick video. You know, what is D-Star? What is DMR? And what is System Fusion? So I'm not going to explain it all. I've got the links here in the description for all three. D-Star, you know, for me is when you buy an ICOM digital radio, they're using the D-Star system. So quite a lot to read about here. And they use, they use DR mode. I think it's very good. And you can use a jumbo hotspot or you can access a repeater that's D-Star enabled and linked to an MMDVM um, device to get you all around the world using the internet. So here it is. What is System Fusion? Again, have a good read. Uh, to me, System Fusion is probably the simplest system. You buy your radio, you put your call sign in. You do have to have a ham call sign for all of these modes. You put the frequency in, and away you go. If you can, if you can access a repeater or use a hotspot at home, like a jumbo hotspot, uh, then you can uh, use the Fusion system. With the D-Star, there's a bit more setting up to do. And then finally, DMR, which is a Motorola. Well, I think it's a Motorola system. DMR stands for Digital Mode Radio. DMR is excellent because it's uh, you can buy radios at a very budget cost, under I would say under fifty pound. And it's a very good system, and it splits the channel into two, and it just works so well. You do need, there, is, there are code plugs, you need a code plug um, to learn the system. Um, what, I'll just now switch back to D-Star. D-Star also uses a thing called Terminal Mode, which is a wired system for digital contact. Fusion uses a system called Wires X. I'll just put that in here now, Wires X. That works great. So there's another link there. Have a good read. You, again, you need a ham call sign. You register. You get the correct cable for your radio. And then um, away you go. And I've got a few videos using this system with, with um, not every Fusion radio, but many. A lot of the fun, firmware updates do allow it. So things like the FTM 300, the 400, FTM 100, FT3, FT5. Uh, they'll use that system. So... Back to DMR. So lots of info here showing you, you know, different things you can do. And you can have private contacts with these systems. Some of them allow photographs to be sent and messages. So watch videos of people using these radios. And then, uh, yeah, enjoy. Well worth uh, having your ham license so then you can access all these different modes. 7-3, thanks for watching. All the best.